Hi Aries, this is Star. Welcome to your whole story reading. Let's get right into it for you, Aries. Just shuffle here and we'll get started. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. One last shuffle. All right. Clarifiers, and we'll be done. For those of you who've never seen the whole story reading, we do go through the entire deck. So definitely get yourself comfortable. We'll get started in just a moment. Oops. Okay. So, let's see, Aries. Uh-huh, okay, let's see. Okay. <clears throat> so I see a lot of difficulty around you. I don't know what's been going on, but I do feel like uh, there's a sense of being overwhelmed or feeling overwhelmed. Um, somebody could be mourning your love or missing your love. So they may have missed out on something with you on a relationship. But I'm sensing here someone is missing you or you're missing someone else. There's a new beginning that's happening here. So um, because I have, okay, so the King of Wands energy, which is, is your energy, um, is surrounded by very difficult cards, okay? So with that Ten of Wands being right on top of your energy and the Magician, you know, being to the left of you, I feel as though there has been an ending in your life, Um that is still causing you either conflict, sadness, something of that nature. But um, I do feel as though you are uh, taking a lot of time for yourself to, I want to say, come up with a plan about something. Okay, so it it is very difficult for you because I feel as though you're in a in a low kind of emotional state, and so this may make this planning difficult, but I feel like it's something big, okay? Something that you really have to um, pay mind to or uh, dedicate that time to. And I, I do feel like you're doing that. It's just I, I kind of feel like you're going through some difficulties. Yeah, okay. So there was something here. It could have been a relationship you could have given your all to, all your love, all your nurturing, Um you really invested a lot in this person, and it, it just did not work out for you, Aries. Yeah, okay. Some of you could have been dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. We have the King of Cups here in the reverse, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. So I'm kind of feeling as though either this person... I feel like this person wants to have um, another chance with you. So it's probably this per This is the person that's missing you, okay? But the thing is here, whatever you went through with this person, I, I do feel like now there are trust issues, okay? This person may have been very um, secretive, mysterious, or downright deceptive. And so that really put a strain on your connection. And perhaps that's why uh, you separated from this person. I do feel like there's separation at least uh, with communication, although I feel like this person, like I said, is trying to contact you or will be trying to contact you um, to start a new beginning with you. Yeah, okay, let's see here. There's a lot of confusion, and, and again, you're trying to make decisions, make plans that have to do with your family um, or something that you find a lot of value in, okay? So it's something that's very important to you, and it's almost like 
with all this confusion, you don't want to be bothered. You don't want to, you want, you don't want your thoughts to be tainted. Yeah. You see, so we have the magician clarified by the page of cups in reverse. So this is you not wanting to talk because you're busy uh, getting shit done. You know, you're, you're starting over in a way. You are clarified by the strength card. So yeah, you're feeling very confident at this time in whatever it is that you're doing. So you're not going to back down. You're definitely uh, a force to be reckoned with at this time. And it could very, very well be because you feel um, the pressure right now. The fight, yeah, see, somebody, someone doesn't want you to leave them. They want you to come back. But in the near future, like foreseeable future, I just don't see you being very communicative. You feel as though it's in your best interest to stay away from this person for whatever reason. It, it may very well be because you want to stay away from the drama. And so you're being very uh, cold, very standoffish with this individual. Oh. Oops. Yeah. So this person, so again, some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm also seeing an earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but, you know, obviously it's a whole story. So we're going through the entire deck. All the signs are here. But I'm just saying, like, you know, what, what I sense most, okay? Okay. Um, but I feel like this person was somebody, there was a, a very immature side to them. Um, or at least you, you view them this way now, uh, because whatever they have done in the past, it's, you feel like aside from the trust issues, like they're, you can't really, you know, depend on them for anything. They, the things have fallen through as much as they want to make these declarations of love. I, I don't see you. I see you turning it down, to be honest, um, because you may have been through this cycle many times. And again, with that, it feels very heavy, these trust issues, it, it, kind of like too much of um, too much of an obstacle to um, overcome, at least at this point. That's not to say that things can't change, you know, because I want you to understand that tarot, whether it's a general reading or whether you're paying somebody to give you a personal reading tarot is a read of the energy at whatever time you are reading the cards okay so that doesn't mean that a month from now somebody can have a change of heart or, or do something crazy it, that's why you cannot depend 100 percent on tarot readings anybody who tells you that they can say with absolute certainty what's going to happen in the future is a liar because it, it really does like some things you can, okay, and, and those are, you know, things that are predestined that we really can't do much, you know, um, with regards to. It's completely out of our control. So things like that you can see um, in tarot, and it's, it's pretty definitive, but anything can change. And especially when it has to do with somebody else's free will, so yours or whoever it is that you're dealing with in life, anything can change, okay? So just know that. But as of right now, I, I kind of sense that for you, you feel it's better for you to be on your own so that no one is influencing anything that you're doing, any decisions that you're making. Because I feel like you're at a very pivotal time in your life where there may be endings um, there may be somebody trying to tug at your heartstrings, and that's exactly what I feel you are trying to avoid. Okay. Yes. Okay. I see that. Hmm. All right. So, I mean, we have the Tower card here. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Lovers. So, I do feel like you were involved with someone. Could have been a soulmate. This could have been a spouse. But it was somebody that you definitely had a lot of emotion and love for. Suddenly you're both uh, kind of single on your own. And it may not be, because for some of you, I feel like, yeah, you're separated, you're single, but it's not something that's been official. I feel like, not not beneficial, that's been official, like officially said, oh, we're not together anymore. There, there may have been an argument or something and every like each person going their separate ways. But I do feel like for some of you, that was a temporary arrangement. For others, it's just completely over, okay? Um, but this has like changed 
the course of your life, really, whatever this tower was, which we will, oh, excuse me, we will see a bit more as we go on. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Ah, I don't like that combination there. We have the lovers. You were dealing with a knight of wands, or this could have been you. Okay, but the knight of wands is very much like player energy. Somebody that you can't really take seriously because they could be here today and they may be gone tomorrow. Uh, as well as their feelings. Um, they're just somebody who's on the go. They like attention. They like excitement. And that's what they're always chasing. Okay, so you were involved possibly with a person like that or you were like this and that's what caused the issues in your relationship. So however it goes, vice versa, it's just energy. So uh, again, okay. Yeah, don't. <sighs> Whoever you were dealing with was out there in the streets acting like they were single. They were very much a manipulator. Mm, that tower was, when that, when this relationship ended, um, or when you had that major event that, you know, you, you knew something really drastic needed to change, it was very, very much a disappointment. You've been dealing with this emotionally, um, or you will be. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. Mm. Yeah. So again, <clears throat> two of pentacles here with the knight of wands, you know, the combination of cards is just kind of solidifying to me that this person was, has been a player. They have juggled you and other people in the past. Um, this has been, I don't want to say a recurring theme necessarily, but it has happened before. You have forgiven before um, until you got to the point where you fought back. You stood up for yourself and you said no. It's not going to go the way it has gone before. I'm not going to forgive you the way I have before. I'm going to go in a different direction. And so there was that that breakup. And here we have the Page of Wands. <sighs> Let me see. Yeah, no, no, no. The thing is that being with this person, because this kind of thing has happened in the past, I feel like you were constantly suspicious of them. Um... Like if they if they spoke to anybody new, it was a constant, you know, any kind of new connection that you knew they had or, you know, whatever. Constant worry, constant obsessing over it to the point where you just couldn't take it anymore. This You just were not coming to agreements, um, you know, even though the both of you, uh, you know, on the surface were trying to make things work out. It just never really did. OK, with the temperance in reverse here. Perhaps, you know, some could argue with that temperance card being a major arcana in reverse. Maybe it just may not have been meant to be. Maybe it was meant to be for a certain period of your life, but not forever. And and that's pretty, as we all know, that's pretty common. Oh, justice and the Ten of Wands. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It was really difficult getting the truth out of this person. Um, like I said, they were kind of a, a mysterious... Um, type of energy. To the point of being deceptive. Okay. for It's going to be on a spectrum. So for some of you, this was like somebody that maybe felt falls into temptation every now and then for others of you, it's a complete liar. Okay. And, and yeah, hmm. It was just too much drama. It was just too much um, anxiety on your part. Too much of a struggle, you know, for this to balance out. There was no balance. There was never going to be um, a coming together, you know, uh, on the same page with the same intentions. Because, again, I'm going to go back to the fact that perhaps it was just not meant to be, okay, past a certain point. So, yeah, this... Um, you moving forward has been a very slow process. Um, like whoever this was, I do feel as though they had plenty of opportunity to change their course, you know, to, to correct their actions um, if they wanted to keep you. But I kind of feel like because of the fact that I'm seeing, you know, this, this has been an issue in the past and you let it go or 
you know, maybe they just felt like that was always going to be the case, and so they didn't really worry too much about it. Three of Pentacles with the Emperor. One second, Aries. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's see. And the Knight of Pentacles here again. So the Knight of Pentacles is here twice. Yeah. Um, here's the thing. I feel as though you really tried to work things out with this person. You've made a lot of compromises. Um, you tried meeting this person halfway each and every time. I can't say the same for whoever you were dealing with, to be honest. I feel as though this, I'm seeing you here coming to terms with the fact that the person that you were with was very much uh, kind of selfish. They were self-indulgent. Um, you know, they basically really only thought about their own needs. And so I feel like when you came to this conclusion, when you faced the truth, it was just something that you knew you didn't want to continue having to deal with in the future. All right, what else, Aries? Someone's very much in their feelings about this uh, breakup. Yeah, somebody here was just not ready for this. They didn't want to let you go. I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Nope. False alarm. I, I feel it coming. So if it comes sporadically, my apologies. All righty. Okay, there's that. Okay, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio because I do have here judgment clarified by the King of Cups. And that is um, Scorpio energy. I feel like uh, this person, whether it's a Scorpio or a water sign or, or not, um, this person wants a reconciliation. They want it really, really badly, uh, regardless of their behavior. It's almost like they're, let me see. They do want something long term for you, but here's the thing. It's going to be a constant uh, struggle. You see how I struggle to get those words out? It's going to be a constant struggle for you and for this person. Because quite honestly, I feel like this person's character traits is very much that. It's their character traits. And, and so how do you change your, your character, your personality? You know, there's certain behavioral patterns that we can change. There's certain, you know, but if it's very much a part of who you are. So, for example, I know that this is kind of controversial because people really don't like to hear this. But there are people, okay, who just simply, and I'm sure you all know, one or two people or maybe many people in your life who are like this who just should not be in relationships they should not because they can't they can handle it but they don't really want to okay and that's the thing that <clears throat> someone who's like that they might really want to you know be involved in a committed relationship but a lot of times it's because um, the way that they were raised their maybe religious beliefs um, codependency, you know, it could be a number of things as to why people really want to be in, in relationships when in reality, um, they have these urges to have other people in their life. Maybe they like variety, maybe they like adventure and, you know, after a while, I mean, you can do your best to keep that alive in, in, in a, in a commitment, but how long are you going to keep that up because it's kind of a show right or 
in the beginning, it's very easy because you're just discovering. So you you are at that kind of adventure phase of, of discovering this new person or this person that you're very passionate about. But as time goes on, I mean, all, whoever, you know, if you've been in a relationship before, you know that. Uh, you know, the best relationships really are drama-free, probably get boring after a while because you get to know that person, you know what they're going to say, you know how they behave. And for some people, that's really not something that they enjoy because maybe they get bored very easily. Um, so just to give an example, like, for example, like there's certain uh, astrological aspects that it's not a, a given, but I'm going to throw one out there. Let's say you're with Let's say a man who has like a Venus in Sagittarius or something like me personally, if I see that in a man's birth chart, I would stay the hell away from them <laughs> because, you know, most of them, I'm not saying all, there's exceptions to everything and astrology isn't really, um, it's more of like propensities that you might may have rather than like a, a black and white kind of thing. So it, it may be, it may not be. Me personally, I stay away from them because not that they're bad people, but it's going to be more of a struggle for them. And, you know, if you're just true to yourself, uh, I think that, you know, life goes a lot better for you. But everybody has their reasons as to why they try to conform to how, like, society functions in general. And, you know, to each their own. But I feel, my point is that I feel as though you have somebody here who they want to keep the commitment, but they know that they struggle with it, okay? And I think that you know that as well because you've been through this enough times. You've been through enough heartbreak, enough waiting for this person to mature, um, and it doesn't seem like it, it ever came about, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. This person wants you back. They do. They want to reconcile with you. They're all in their feelings now. But they have these demons. They have these secrets that, again, they're not a very stable partner. Yeah, here is that separation. I'm seeing that separation, that letting go. Like telling somebody, I just need to be alone. I need to think. Because, look, something is... It's not successful. It's not moving forward. It's probably stagnant. And so maybe it's time for something completely new with that fool card. And someone, you know, quite honestly, somebody could be lying to you um, to make you not leave them. Okay, so whatever it is they're saying, I would say take it with a grain of salt and, and really look more towards actions rather than words. I feel like for some of you, or even, um, you know, whoever it is that you're dealing with, but I feel like it's you guys, like, one of the reasons why this took so long as well is because, for one, I do feel like there's a lot of you out there who fear loneliness, um, and for others, it could be, you know, financial reasons. Yeah. So this other person, this person that you're with, I, they have feelings for you. That's one reason why they want to stay with you. Um, you do bring them a sense of happiness. That's another reason. You might have children with this person. That's another reason. Uh, they do not, they feel more supported um, financially when they're with you, of course. You know, if you, if you split the bills and whatnot. That's another reason. However, again, this person is always, they have a lot of options around them. Maybe there is somebody who's very attractive or, you know, they just like to play the field and maybe they like to flirt, whatever it is. But I feel like there's always a lot of options around them, a lot of temptation. Um, and so you are finding yourself constantly paranoid. Like, yeah, pretty much. Like always suspecting, always... Um, it's almost like you don't even like to have people around, like maybe you don't even bring your friends around this person because you'll start to get suspicious. But uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I feel like the number one reason 
that this person wants you to stick around is because it's just easier on them financially. Okay, and it could be as simple as, you know, with that son being there, the son can talk about, you know, children. Um, it could be because, like, they don't want to have to pay child support or something like that. So, all right, what else? I feel like you're balance, balancing your emotions, or you will be balancing your emotions, and um, it's going to get progressively easier to move on from this person. Something about deceit, uh, and with that awareness, so there may be something that you find out, you know, that that they were keeping from you that maybe helps uh, to balance out your emotions, uh, you know, through anger, like you know. Let's see. Yeah, see, I, I, hmm. uh, I feel like you're going to be seeing that this is deeper than you thought. It's kind of like what I was telling you. It's, it's not that this person wakes up every morning and says, you know what, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to cheat on Aries and I'm going to lie to them. And I don't, I'm not really getting that. I, I mean, they may even make a true effort but it's just not who they are it's this person has been like fighting against themselves okay so it's basically like you are not really living your best life because you're constantly uh, distrustful of this of your partner um, you know doubting what they're saying to you um, doubting people that they hang out with like paranoid and all of that and that's not the best way to live and this other person, you know, they, they, they're kind of pretending to be something that they're not because they feel like that's what they're supposed to do or that's what's most convenient. And uh, again, this, um, this person's nature, you know, to, to lie or deceive, it's that's how they've been. Like, this should not be anything new to you. Or it's not. If it is, this is not your reading. Because this, this has been going on for years, years and years, okay? Um, and again, the temptation, they, they, they can't. Um... Okay, let's see. Yeah, you're moving on. It's, it's a wrap. I feel like this person still thinks there's hope. Um... And you may even at this point, like depending on where you are in the timeline, but eventually after you come into that awareness that we saw, you know, here with the, uh, well, we'll see what it is, but let's see. Yeah, it's, it's the end of a situation that you were holding very tightly to. You didn't want to let them go, but look, yeah, we are finding something out. Some kind of truth is coming out about, uh, it was being kept from you. Yeah, uh, this person has been, they might have feelings for you and somebody else or just other people. I don't know, but uh, it's like when, whenever you find out this truth, whatever it is, uh, which I feel like you, they've been giving to others, okay? This could be just flirting or actually giving money to somebody else. And, it, you know, it's just something that when you find it out, you're going to say, no, this was never, this has been over, you know, for years. It's just, I haven't, I haven't accepted it. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I do feel like somebody was mishandling money. And this is going to piss you off. So again, mishandling could be anything, but one of those scenarios could very well be um, giving money to uh, another partner that they have on the side. I feel like, uh, let me see.
you know, honestly, um, you leaving this person, I have to say this, it's, it's like you're doing a favor to yourself by alleviating all of these um, emotions that you walk around with every day with, without even really thinking about it. It's just become normal at this point. Um, but when you finally put a stop to this, you're also doing this person a favor as well, because this is going to help them and kind of force them into seeing these ugly traits that they have and understanding that if they do want to have somebody in their life, either they have to truly look at this, the reasons why they are this way. Um, they may have addictions. Okay. It could be sex addiction. It could be somebody who's like addicted to getting attention. Even maybe, maybe this person is a narcissist or something like that because, and I'm saying that because, because of the fact that it has happened before, obviously they must have seen you upset. They must have seen you maybe crying about it or, and, and, you know, suffering in, in the sense of being, feeling paranoid all the time at what they're doing and who they're talking to. And so clearly it must have been evident to this person that this is really affecting you. And yet it doesn't seem like they were changing. And so I do feel as though they they are going to have this opportunity to reflect upon all of the times that they've done you wrong. This person's going to be very much in their feelings as they should be, you know? Yeah. They don't, they don't want to let this go. <laughs> But again, there's this factor about money. So it just makes you wonder if the money was not a factor. Let's say you were independently wealthy and this person was independently wealthy, whether you were a couple or not. Like money was just not a factor. If money was not a factor, would they remain in this relationship? Uh, I can't answer that. I, I don't really know because it keeps coming up. And so that's why, that's why I'm saying a decision is going to be made see yeah so see again we have the king of pentacles queen of pentacles here on the same row both of them are in reverse again i'm going to say this is over whether you've broken up or not because this may be future for some of you um but again even if the breakup happens let's say next month um It truly, like when you look back, when you think back, you're going to realize like this was over years ago. I just, like I said, I hadn't, I hadn't accepted it. So it's just really hard to let go of um, a dream, an aspiration, a wish. Like you truly wished for this to work out, for this person to be your forever person. But they just aren't. They, they because they didn't want to be, honestly. If they wanted to be, then they would have changed. They would have stopped the behavior that would put this connection in jeopardy, and they never did. They may have tried, but again, I feel like this this is like who this person is. Yeah, this person is going to come back. They're going to try to come back and say, you know, I've learned my lesson this time. It's for real. But I think by then, you, there's going to be nothing that they can really say to keep you from leaving. I do feel like this person depended a lot on you. Um whether it be, you know, for money or just having to do with the household, like they feel if you're, if you weren't around, their life is going to be much more difficult, um, in many aspects. You're going to find happiness. I just want you to know that, okay? Because you really, you put your all into this person. You you, you try to be the best that you can be each day. Um, and I do feel like you're going to be rewarded for that. 
there's going to be temptation, but I don't to temptation to take this person back, but I don't see you doing that. Or this person is going to try to, to tempt you into coming back to them. They're going to be reaching out for sure. Yeah. Telling you that you are their happiness, but by then it's going to be too late. You would have already given up on them. Yeah. They don't, they don't want to get it. A lot of you are married to this person. Or again, there's that factor, that money factor. This person is going to be, you know, when you're separated, <laughs> that's the thing. Like if you are usually people who are players and, you know, they have people on the side, they also are very paranoid that you're doing the same thing. And that's like their mind is going crazy thinking about, you know, you being single out there and having people give you attention, the attention that they weren't giving you. Yeah, you're, you're. You're dumping out these cups. You want no part of this anymore at some point here in the future, or maybe this is present for you. Yeah, it took a lot of strength for you to um, accept, like, completely rearranging and changing your life. I feel like this person is going to be panicking. Like, who's going to take care of them? Who's going to take care of your children? Who's going to clean the house? Who's going to cook? Who's going to, you know, all the things that they took for granted, it's all going to start <laughs> rushing into their brain. Like, who is going to take Aries' place? And the way that you fight back is by saying, not me. I'm not going to do... All that I used to do in the past, I'm not, you're checking out. All right. Look at you. Well, someone's going to be very disappointed and very unhappy, but it's not going to be you. Because look what we have here. We have the sun clarified by the queen of wands. You're going to be very happy. You're going to have a brand new beginning, a whole new life. Um, but it only happens or you only have this window of opportunity when you just separate yourself. When you are successful at no longer giving into this person, no longer even speaking to them. I feel like some of you are just going to completely like cut them off. And this person's going to be very unhappy. They're going to try to fight it the whole way. They're going to be very upset, very angry. I, I feel like they're going to go through all of those emotions, you know, the, the stages of grief. So just be prepared for that because they're going to try anything to get you back. Um, but again, I don't see you doing that because I, I think, you know, once you start on that path forward and you see that light at the end of the tunnel, that sun that's waiting for you, I, you're not going to turn back again. Let's see. Final messages for Aries. I hope the audio is good. If not, please leave me a comment because um, a couple people have were commenting on um, the past videos that they were having trouble hearing me, which is odd because when I, you know, I do kind of click on the videos before I post to make sure that there is sound because it's happened to me before and it, it seems fine on my end. So if you guys could just let me know. All right, Aries, sudden and rising. What are the final messages? What do they need to know? filled angel is at your side. It watches over you at every dark doorway. So in those dark moments, Aries, just know that you're never really alone. The first card you got was a new strategy is required. 
find the path to love and happiness. Yeah, so look at this girl. She's She looks kind of disappointed and sad. And maybe this is, you know, at the point in your life where you are, where you find yourself at this time. Um, but that's not going to be forever. You just need to do something different for yourself. So I, I forget who, was it? I think it was Tony Robbins or Dr. Phil. I don't know. Somebody <laughs> who says, like, if you if you always do what you've always done, then you, you'll always get what you've always gotten. And I think you've had enough of what you've always gotten. And you're ready to have a new strategy on your life and do something different for yourself. And look at this. The time for romance has come. See it as an opportunity for a radiant life. That is no coincidence of what's more radiant than the sun this is where you're headed there is new romance on the horizon for you but you first need to get through this this dark um time okay what we were talking about here so maybe this is where you are or where you will be in the near future but just know what's ahead of you it looks really good okay aries i hope that this was helpful um, if you're interested in a private reading, eyes of the stars tarot at gmail.com. All the information is in the description box below. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.